morning, it's the next day. Um, we visited two friends yesterday. After meeting up with Victor, we visited Emmy and Felix in just just outside of Greymouth. And um, early in the morning, just left the camp, and I'm on my way to uh, Bukitika Gorge. Um, yeah, beautiful scenery, blue water. We're gonna go there early in the morning to check that out and then probably already head towards Wanaka where we're gonna spend our day around the lake and probably tomorrow morning um, we're gonna do another hike up to Royce Peak it's like a three and a half hour hike up uh, 1500 meters at the highest point and it's recommended to do that early in the morning because like now we have blue skies the sun is shining and uh, it's recommended to do early in the morning because there's gonna be no shade at all it's gonna be all um, all sunny so to to get some cover we're gonna do it early in the morning probably watch the sunrise at some point and uh, then continue our way down in the sun okay we're here at Hokitika Gorge it's not a long walk quite a short trek 15 minutes to the river edge so it won't take us so long just a few just a couple of viewing points in between and uh, yeah it's early in the morning so there's like no one here um, so we probably have it all to ourselves and can take some nice pictures which I really like um, like yesterday at the pancake rocks it was packed so many tourists so annoying it's uh, always good to have it to yourself uh, with all people on the way yeah and enjoying the nice morning walk you can hear all the all the insects Wow. That is beautiful. The water, the color is just unreal. That's crazy. almost up at our next viewing platform oh, that is insane now we have a good view from up here this is so cool amazing colors
it is so beautiful out here I could literally just spend my whole day here chilling but the problem is once you stop moving you get you'll be eaten alive by sand flies I have not kidding like easily more than a hundred bites now it hurts it hurts it's itchy and it's so annoying and they bite you so hard you can't even blow them off your arm so if you come down here I recommend uh, putting some long sleeves on yeah putting some long sleeves on or um, just keep moving as much as you can I was at a viewing platform for like 10 minutes to do some drone shots nah insane insane I've been just covered my legs and arms are so itchy now uh. But yeah, we're we're done here now. We're on our way back to the car. Oh, what's that? One of those don't know the name of the birds. We just called them <laughs> chickens. Uh, they always run run across here, and uh, I was pretty excited a couple of times already because I thought. Uh, that I've seen a kiwi bird, but it, it wasn't. Anyway, we're on our way back to the car and um, we're gonna decide pretty soon where we are heading to now. I'm still thinking about doing the Fox Glacier or if I go straight to Wanaka, not too sure. Um, but I wanna do a big hike in Wanaka, I wanna go up Roy's Peak and the hike at Fox Glacier um, is pretty tough as well so I will see if I if I'm uh, pumped enough to do two big hikes in a row or if I'll save some energy go to Wanaka chill for the rest of the day at the lake and uh, just explore the area there yeah we'll see but that's it for the gorge beautiful place
No drone allowed over here. So we won't use our drone because we don't want any helicopters to crash. Um, so I decided the middle way. I wasn't sure if I will pass the glaciers or if I will do the big hike here. So I found a middle solution, just a little walkway to a viewing point and um, and then return because I want to keep my energy for tomorrow's hike um, and it's fairly warm as well today and we still have quite a long drive if we want to arrive in Wanaka um, yeah so we just have a walk it's not gonna be challenging at all and uh, yeah at the end we can we can see the glacier and um, also just on the sign before it said that you are not allowed to feed the kias, so the big parrots which means like I don't want to feed them but it means that there might be some to see along the way maybe we'll be lucky today finally to see some wildlife it is uh, mostly hiding from us um, but yeah, I have my camera always ready. Check this out. And uh, to my left hand side, there's a mountain and the glacier. I'm sure we'll be able to see it in just a couple of minutes. Oh. Over there you can see the glacier. There we are, the closest point that we can get to. And this is amazing, it's so big. Look at the glacier up there. And this area is so massive, you can't capture it on a GoPro. Would be good to have a human down there as a reference maybe, but yeah, it's insanely big and beautiful. All right, ready to continue. We've enjoyed the view and the glacier and uh, heading back to our car now and continue our way towards Wanaka. I have no reception at the moment, um, so I can't put my route in into maps, but I think it's still about a three and a half, four hour drive until we, we get there. So let's continue our journey.